hero is that you're running for tomorrow in the marathon. But this is mine. Our youngest daughter of three, Carson Elizabeth, was the most tenacious, bravest, spunkiest hero I've ever known or ever will. Carson was diagnosed with osteosarcoma the day before her eighth birthday on March the 7th, 2014. She fought a long, hard battle for 16 months. And on June 26, 2015, Carson flew to heaven to forever have her beloved tea, her beloved tea parties with no more pain and no more suffering. Carson taught me more in her short life than I could have ever hoped or dreamed of teaching her. When Carson realized that her life here on earth was drawing to a close, she at quietly asked her daddy and I to sit on the couch with her one night because she had something she wanted to ask us. She wanted the two of us to make sure that the money in her piggy bank went to St. Jude when she was gone. Because she knew that every single penny counted. And it just might be her own piggy bank money that helped fund the cure to end childhood cancer. It is that hope that Carson carried in her own heart that drives my family and I forward into continuing to support St. Jude through our marathon team, Team Carson Elizabeth. My family knows firsthand just how special St. Jude is and all of its employees. We want to give back because there is no doubt in my heart that without St. Jude, we would not have been given the last 16 months of Carson's too short life. St. Jude has pushed the survival rate for childhood cancers to more than 80% today. What an accomplishment. But when your daughter falls into the other 20%, then that percentage is no longer acceptable. And there is not a person in this room tonight that is satisfied with those percentages. And that's why all of you are heroes. Each and every one of you would agree that no child should ever have to endure what Carson went through. One limb sparing surgery, two lung thoracotomies, one surgery to completely move her heart over to get to the cancer that was growing behind it, three other surgeries, 36 weeks of chemo that she never got to finish, and multiple rounds of radiation. St. Jude stopped at nothing to try and save Carson's life. And not once did they ever give up hope. And each and every one of you here tonight is not satisfied that 1.5 families walk through the doors of St. Jude every day for the very first time and they hear the words, your child has cancer. That's 1.5 new families every day of the year, seven days a week, on the weekends, on the holidays, and on birthdays. That means that today, a new patient started at St. Jude. And I can tell you from experience that I hear the words, your daughter has cancer, over and over in my mind. And they never leave me. When I lay my head down at night, when I'm in the car, when I'm in the shower, and when I lay down to try and sleep, or when I try to eat. 
and unbelievable as it is, I'm now a marathon runner. <laughs> And I am a marathon runner that trains for this race because of my hero, Carson. And because I know personally there is no amount of training to prepare a mother for the words that your daughter has cancer. It's like getting thrown into a race that already started without you, with no training, and no equipment, and not even sure which way you're supposed to run. But because of each and every one of you, there is hope at St. Jude. We believe that no family should ever have to bury their own child or endure their child's odds of survival being 80-20. That's why our marathon team and all the other teams here tonight won't rest until that survival rate is 100%. <laughs> Tomorrow, when you run, I want you to think about your hero. And if you don't know one personally, and my family and I would be honored for you to call our daughter Carson your hero too. Tomorrow is so much more than a race. It's for all the children inside the walls of St. Jude fighting right now as I speak. Because I was there three years ago when this race was going on. It's for the new families that will walk through St. Jude's doors for the first time praying for a miracle. And it's for my family and others just like us that have already lost their precious child, but still continue to cling to the hope that childhood cancer will end in our lifetime. In closing, I want to share with you a true story. One night about 2 a.m., when Carson was inpatient and having a particularly hard night with a lot of nausea and a lot of pain from the chemos, we had finally started to drift off to sleep. I'd been thinking about Carson's marathon team earlier that day and how they would be running in her honor that year, and I awoke so suddenly with this saying going through my mind that I had to get up and write it down. Run with the faith of a child so that one day all children may cross the finish line. That slogan became our team's motto because I think it embodies everything about St. Jude. The children of St. Jude run on hope that one day they can just be normal kids again and that cancer will be a thing of the past. And St. Jude gives all of the children the hope that one day they will cross the finish line themselves. Tomorrow, when you cross the finish line, remember that you crossed it for all the children and families that couldn't cross it themselves. And when I cross the finish line tomorrow, I will have done it for my angel, Carson Elizabeth, who did not have the chance to finish it herself. And together, may we finally, finally put an end to childhood cancer once and for all. Thank you.